everyone, Guru Jerry Valido here with Cinco Steel with Urban Arnis. Tonight we're going to discuss three different power generators that can make your stick striking that much more effective. Cinco Steel with Urban Arnis is a stick-based system. So in that context, uh, we're going to be discussing how your strikes can be uh, even more powerful and how you can get more impact value out of your strikes. Now, if you were to replace your stick with an edged weapon, well, any edged weapon sharpened nicely is already a pretty effective tool. With these power generators in play uh, behind that edged weapon, you're going to get a lot more uh, effectiveness out of your strike. So let's get started. Because of my background in American Kempo, I utilize the terminology to teach the principles that we use in Synchro Stilos Urban Arnis. Uh, the American Kempo uh, glossary of terms is just so expansive. Uh, there is a lot that very easily can be used in different systems of martial arts to uh, describe and define uh, movement. So that's what I'm going to be uh, using tonight as I describe the three power generators. So power generator number one is called marriage of gravity. Marriage of gravity is basically the sinking, dropping, or settling of your body weight into the ground or towards the ground upon the impact of your strike. This can be utilized with empty hand motions as well, but obviously when utilizing a stick an impact weapon, the effectiveness of what you are doing is amplified many times by practicing marriage of gravity, also known as gravitational marriage. The second power generator we're going to talk about is something called torque or rotational force. With your arm anchored to your body, the turning and or twisting of your body within your stance is going to give extra power to your weapon upon impact of your strike, okay? It is no different than punching and utilizing the body as a power generator for your punch. The way we practice this in Cinco Estilos is a, um, a drill called the post pivot drill. So we're going to stand with our feet slightly wider than shoulder width, have our weapon in our hand, and we're going to turn both feet, but both feet, our knees, hips, shoulders, everything is locked in a, uh, in a line. We're not going to turn one part of the body and, and not turn the other part. So everything is torquing and or twisting at the same time. You can also put your marriage of gravity into this drill as well. This is, that's something that you should start to do. You should start to combine these power generators together as you're training this. The third and final power generator that we use in our striking is something known as directional harmony, okay? Directional harmony is essentially moving your body along the line of the strike. To illustrate it a little better for you, if I'm striking an angle one, okay, I already have directional harmony by default because I am torquing in this manner. My weapon is coming this way, my body is coming the same way, but directional harmony now plays into not only the torque, but the marriage of gravity. So directional harmony is kind of built into those two other power generators already. As I turn and hit, as I drop and hit, because this strike is now coming on a downward diagonal, I'm dropping with it. I'm not going like this. My body is not coming up as my stick is going down. Rather, as my stick is striking downward, my body is dropping with it as well. Now, if I were to come back on an upward swing, my body would torque and I would rise as I strike with this upward swing. Not 
rising to where now I'm uh, unstable. Rising enough just to give a little more directional harmony to this strike, which once again will increase the impact value. Similarly, if my strike is a thrust, directional harmony will now take me on a horizontal plane, which we can kind of define or term as linear momentum. So linear momentum, directional harmony, if I'm thrusting, okay, I'm coming forward, striking, same thing here, same thing here. Okay, now that we've talked about all three power generators, we're gonna go ahead and put them all together and we're gonna illustrate some strikes uh, here on the tires. With these strikes, only using my arm, it makes a decent thud. Okay, we're not just trying to make noise. We're trying to cause damage.